it is better to remain single than to be married wrongly. Nowhere was it ever stated that you need marriage to validate your life or become an important person in society. Most importantly, it was never written that you need to be married before you will be able to enter the kingdom of God. Many single keep rushing and putting themselves under unnecessary pressure to get married and he ends up making them fall into the wrong marriage. Patience, they say, is the best way to manage your life. Jumping into an unplanned marriage just because you are desperate to get married is like jumping into the sea without knowing the depths of the water. That sea is going to drown you and if you are not careful, you might end up losing your life in the process. Many people have died as a result of wrong marriage and that's because they never took their time to study the person when he or she came into their lives. The devil knew very much that you were desperate for marriage and so he sent his agent into your life and you fell for it. An alive single who still has the opportunity of fulfilling the purpose of God for his or life is far better than a dead married man or woman. Just because you become among the few who are saved by grace and you did not die as a result of wrong marriage, you might end up losing something that you will never be able to recover again. It might not be your life, but an essential part of you that makes you the kind of person that you are. Marriage is no child's play and just because your friends and age group are getting married doesn't mean you should allow yourself to fall for the wrong partner which leads to a wrong marriage. The painful part of most of this wrong marriage is that they see the signs but chose to ignore them because they simply want to get married. It's better to be single and have your mental health at peace, physical health balanced and happy than to be married and have the opposite of all those things. Singleness is not a sin, neither is it a crime. Being single does not mean you are out of date or not human. It simply means that you value yourself more and waiting for the right person is better. If only you have studied the word of God and had a personal relationship with him, you would have understood that singlehood is a gift. Explore every bit of this gift that God has given to you now. No matter your age, that remain depressed just because you cannot seem to get it off your mind. It's better to be single and trust God to be married than be married and trust God to be single again. This seems to be the case for most people because of wrong marriage. This person you feel you need to get married will not be there to suffer the consequences of your wrong marriage. So why not take your time? There is time for everything and when the time is right, the Lord will make it happen. Many people walk the surface of the earth with frustration as a result of wrong marriage and one day it's going to push them into doing something that they are going to regret for the rest of their life. Why choose to live a life of frustration when you can decide to live a happy and stress-free life? When you are single and when the right person comes, you get married. Marrying the right person at the right time brings positive thinking and peace and you might there deserve such a kind of life. Don't allow anyone to tell you differently and make you settle for the wrong person. The foundation of every good and successful marriage is built on the solid rock which is Christ and when you miss this foundation, it is hard to ever get it right. The reason why most people want to get married is wrong and that's why they end up having a wrong marriage. We make so much effort to get married because we want to be like others, dress like others and have a grand occasion. This grand occasion that you desperately want to have just so you draw attention to yourself is only going to last for one day, which is your wedding day. After that, you have forever to go which is going to determine how the remaining part of your life is going to play out. Most singles don't mind doing whatever it takes to have a wedding just to ridicule others or to show off but at the end of the day, the biggest joke is on you and not on them. 
It's better to be single than have a wrong marriage that is bound to crash at some point. Don't allow people getting married to push you into a wrong marriage. Most of this marriage crash and become history. There is so much to what the eyes can see and your friends who married wrongly will never tell you because everyone is trying to cover their secret. While most of them want you to make the same mistake they made, being married is not a must. At some point, we are all going to be married. God has a plan for each of us and no one knows if being married is, is for you at this point in your life. Your families and friends will pressure you, but that is because they don't know the plan of God for your life. I want to believe you know better. We are all created by one God, same likeness, and our destinies vary. The destiny of people around you is different from the path that God has set out for you. You just need to trust Him and follow His leading. If God is keeping you single now, it means there is something that He wants you to achieve now. He is protecting you from a wrong marriage and you are not yet ready. It's better to be single than fall into a wrong marriage and suffer the consequences for the rest of your life. Most single have fallen into the hands of a wrong marriage because they were too impatient to have a cordial relationship before deciding to get married. Life is a process and each process is made up of stages. If you miss one stage, you are going to suffer the consequences of missing that stage. Having a cordial relationship before marriage helps a lot in knowing all the things you need to know about this person and gives you time to get your answer from God if this person is the right partner for you. The relationship stage also helps in building up the right character that you need to settle down into your marriage peacefully and happily. It's better to wait long than to marry early and have a wrong marriage. God is protecting us from the harm that we love to bring upon ourselves because of our wrong decisions. However, if you do not learn to follow his leading, you are going to reap the consequences of your action. God will only show you the path, but he will not force you if you decide not to accept his path. Society and even your parents will sometimes blame you for not being married at a particular age, but never you allow their words to push you. The devil doesn't mind whoever it will use to push you to get married. As long as his aim is being achieved, it will keep on sending people into your life that will provoke you. Some parents might go as far as forcing you into a marriage that you do not want because all they want you to do is get married at all costs. At times like this, God is the person who is capable of helping you with this battle and if you talk to him, it will surely help you. There is so much you can be doing with your life as you wait on the Lord to connect you with your kingdom ordained spouse. Get busy adding value to yourself and doing something for the Lord. As you are busy, you will meet your spouse. Don't allow age, your friends and family and other factor to push you into a wrong marriage. No matter what people say to you, I want you to know that there is nothing wrong with you. Your life is intentional and when the time is right for you, the Lord will make it happen. As you make up your mind to wait on the Lord and not rush into a wrong marriage, there are going to be the worst days and you will feel like the worst person who doesn't deserve happiness on the planet earth. Don't worry, it is normal and you are going to get through this. Your life has meaning without marriage, so don't sit down and be waiting for marriage to validate you. I pray for you today that you receive wisdom and grace not to fall into a wrong marriage and may you receive patience to wait for the right person in Jesus name. Amen.